Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing a couple of new stamp sets by Darkroom Doll. This stripes rubber stamp is great to have on your stash, it's one of those basic stamps that uh, it's uh, fun to have, creates lovely backgrounds. And here is another stamp set which I absolutely adore, this is called Merry Mail and it is packed with lovely images as well as lots and lots of sentiments. These are rubber stamps that cling on your stamping block and they come with this case so you can uh, store them nicely. So today I will be using this thumb set to create three Christmas cards and I will try and create both vintage and clean and simple designs. So I'm going to start by stamping the Santa. For that I'm using Archiva Link in a brown color. I am going to stamp a couple of times just because I decided that it wasn't uh, quite dark enough for me. So I'm just going to build up the color. And um, I am going for the vintage look for the first card and that's why instead of using black ink I'm using brown. Now I'm going to do some embossing. I'm using my embossing pillow here to remove static electricity. I'm going to stamp with embossing ink one of the stamps from the set. And then I'm going to apply gold embossing powder. I will be using my WOW heat gun to melt the embossing powder and by the way the embossing powder that I'm using is by Nuvo and it is called Gold Enchantment. And I'm going to do some more embossing, this time I'm working on a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half brown cardstock. I'm going to place on top the stripes background, peel off the packing and I'm just going to throw it away, I don't need it anymore. I'm going to close the door of my stamping platform and I'm going to ink up the edges by using my embossing ink. I'm going to cover up the center of this panel so I don't care about what's going on at the center and also I'm not going to stamp a second time to get a good impression since I like the imperfections and they add a lot to the vintage look. Again I use the same gold embossing powder by Nuvo and I'm going to heat set everything. Now I have finished with all the embossing I'm using my scissors to cut out this label that says express and I'm just following the lines here. The focal point on this card is going to be the Santa, so I'm using my alcohol markers to add some color. I'm not going to do any crazy coloring here, I'm just using red for the red parts of uh, his uniform, as well as uh, black for the boots. And if you follow my channel, you probably know that when I am going for the vintage look on a card, I always like to bring my Distress Oxide thing in vintage photo, and I always like to use a Desert Storm uh, cardstock by Nina. This is the lovely craft cardstock that I'm using here. And I'm going to ink up very lightly Santa as well so that he is not as bright white as it was before. And I'm going to use my scissors and follow the lines to cut him out completely. I'm not leaving a white border at all. I'm just following the brown line and it's really easy to cut him out because that brown line is quite thick. Now I'm going to work on the edges of this panel, for that again I'm using my brown archival link and uh, some of the stamps from the stamp set. I'm going all around stamping different phrases and I'm not going for the perfect stamping here, I'm just turning around the panel and stamping with my brown ink just to have a nice frame which really adds to the finished look. At the top right corner I'm going to use one of the circle dies. There are five of those with different designs in the stamp set which I absolutely adore and I will be using them in every card that I'm sharing today. And just because all the stamps in this stamp set are quite small, keep in mind that you can use them for gift tags for Christmas, they would create perfect focal points. Now that I have all my elements ready to go, it's time to put my card together. For that I'm going to stick the panel on top of the stripes and then at the back of my uh, label I'm going to add some foam squares and place it there. This is going to provide the ground for the, the Santa to stand on so he is not floating in the air. My Santa is the focal point and that's why he is at the center of my card. I created a card that's four and a quarter by five and a half out of red cardstock and I did use my paper trimmer to cut out just a bit all around the panel so that you can see more of that red cardstock coming through. 
And you can call this card done, or if you are like me and love splashes, then you can just use some uh, white paint or um, uh, gesso, like I'm using here, diluted with water, and add some splashes. These are going to create some more interest on the background, and at the same time, they look like snow. And here is a close-up look on the vintage card that I made for today with all the shine. And you can see the finished photos that I embellished it a little bit more by adding some gold gems here and there. Moving on to the second card, and this time I'm going for a clean and simple look. The design is super simple to recreate, so you can mass produce many cards. This time I'm creating my own pattern paper, which is going to be the background of my card. For that I'm going to use two of the circle stamps from the stamp set. The red ink that I used is uh, called Velvet and it is by Altenew, and the green one that I'm using here is called Mountain Pine, again by Altenew. So again I'm going for a traditional color combo, but this time it will not have the look and feel of a vintage card. However, you can use any color combo. The images are very festive with the Christmas tree and the reindeer, so no matter which color combo you decide to work with, it's going to look great and very modern. I'm using my tape runner at the back and I'm going to stick this panel on top of uh, green cardstock. So I end up having a green border. If you're using a different color combo, make sure that the background is one of the colors that you used on the front. Now to finish off my card, all I need to do is to add a sentiment. For that I went with the word joy. And I'm also going to finish it off by sticking down the rest of the sentiment in a very thin strip of paper. So we basically use the small stamps from the stamp set to create our own pattern paper and then on top you can stick any sentiment that you like. Now in these close-up photos you can see that I did embellish the card a little bit more by adding some uh, crystal gems. And now moving on to the last card for today in a very clean and simple design. This time I'm stamping one of the circle stamps again, which is the one with the snowflake. I am stamping it with uh, embossing ink and I'm going to apply silver embossing powder. So this is going to end up nice and shiny. You can use your scissors to cut it out or if you have a circle die that fits, you can use that. I just followed the line with my scissors, so you can see I have a lovely medallion here, and you can see you get five of those designs, and these are the ones that I used on the previous cards as well. So it's time to put my card together, and as I said before, I'm going for a very clean and simple looking card. When you want to create very elegant looking cards, it's nice to go simple, and white and silver create a really lovely and elegant combination. Now, as my focal point, I'm going to use my snowflakes. These are cut out from the same silver cardstock, and you can probably see the shine. Some of them are cut out of vellum, and I use my favorite die set of snowflakes that I use again and again. I believe this is from last year, but you will find linked down below. Now, I'm going to uh, stack the snowflakes one on top of the other, and I'm going to create a lovely medallion at the center of my card. Now I want my snowflake to be dimensional and fluffy, so I am uh, using uh, foam squares as well as glue as I stack one on top of the other. And the top layer is going to be my embossed circle, which is going to go at the center with a foam square at the back. Now if you like, you can stamp a sentiment below the snowflake, there is plenty of space there. You can even cut out smaller snowflakes and uh, embellish the uh, white space all around. I'm going to keep it quite simple for today, since I absolutely love the look. And I'm just going to add a few silver gems here and there. And here is the finished card. Remember, you can stamp with different colors all those little circles, and if you have a snowflake die, just stick those circles on top. You can create different color combos and lovely cards in minutes. And here are all the three cards that I made while I was playing with a Merry Mail stamp set by Darkroom Door. I hope I gave you some ideas on how you can use this stamp set. And just like always, you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. 
Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you had fun and that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you.